Hi children, what did I write here? What is it? Geometry. Do you like geometry? What is the meaning of geometry? Dots and dashes and lines, isn't it? Yes. And how do you do? With a ruler or scale, pencil. And here, when you are learning geometry, your pencil needs to be sharp. Okay, nice and sharp. And you have to draw it very lightly, not dark. You should not press and draw. You should draw it very gently, lightly. So, let's, today let us learn together a little bit of geometry. Good. Look at the pencil. Okay? The pencil point should be sharp, where you can make a dot. Dot. Now, draw a point. What they mean is mark a point. Just touch with your pencil and it makes a point. That's a point. Now, what is a point? With the help of a fine pencil, not thick pencil, with the help of a fine pencil, mark a dot. That means just mark a dot on a plain paper. On a plain paper. So, it should not be uh, it should not be ruled paper. It's simply plain. Take an empty paper, plain paper, mark a dot on a plain paper. Now, this dot is called a point. So, you take a pencil, plain paper, put a dot with a pencil on the paper. That is called a dot. We name the point as P. Or we name the dot P. So we are naming. You have a name? Yes. So this pencil dot also need to have a name. You can put any letter. You can put P, you can put A, you can put D, anything. So we are what a, we name the point as P. Read it again. With the help of a fine pencil, mark a dot on a plain paper. That's what we have done here. This dot is called a point. We name the point as P. So, we call this point P. Yes, that is the first part of the geometry. Dot. How to make a dot? What is a dot? Good. We are going to draw a line. You like to draw a line with a pencil? And with the help of your scale? Good. Draw a line. Here you have a plain paper and your ruler is placed. Now you must hold on to your ruler so that the ruler doesn't shift. Take a sharp pencil and draw a line. That's how you get your line. Yes, let's read together. Place the scale on a plain paper. So you take a plain empty paper and you place the ruler like this. And with the help of a pencil, draw along the scale. So, you will draw right along. Not far away, close. You hold your ruler, hold it, then draw. Alright. So, you draw a line. You will get a figure which is called a line. So, you are placing the ruler, holding the ruler with the help of the pencil, you make a nice mark on the paper and what you get is called a line. Read it again. Place the scale on a plain paper with the help of a pencil. Draw along the scale. Draw along the scale. You will get a figure which is called a line. Now you know how to draw a line, how to make a point. Good. So now here, you learn to draw a line. Did you enjoy? Good. Let's look at some more. Look. What is this? Curve. You know to make a curve? Yes. If I give you a bit of thread, can you make a curve? Yes. Very good. Hold a thread or a twine. You get a 
then leave it loose you will get a curve so if you have you hold that these two end and you hold it straight you will get a straight line but if you hold it loose hold it loose you will get a curve curve you can get a curve like this you can also get a curve like this you can get a curve side curve facing that side you can make curve any way you like take a twine enjoy making different types of curves good now let's go on look at this so we learn to draw a line with the help of a ruler and a pencil on a plain paper now we are going to learn types of line what are we going to learn types of lines let's look at the types of lines good look now this is called you might have already learned yes it's called a horizontal line or sleeping line the line is going to sleep you lie down straight isn't it this is called a horizontal line from this end to the other end take a pencil and draw this is called a horizontal line it's also called a sleeping line good next so this is the first kind of line next we have vertical line you stand straight your lamp post you hold a ruler like this draw from the top to bottom like this standing line or vertical line all poles and pillars are put straight so this is called a vertical line second type first is horizontal now this is the vertical line third let's go on are you enjoying next here slanting lines it is slanting lines to make nice shapes so you take a pencil and a ruler and you draw a line from the top slanting this is one side slanting another side these are slanting lines neither straight nor horizontal slanting lines good so we learned three types of lines today yes good enjoy drawing them in your book yes horizontal line vertical line and standing lines good